This module is just a brief word on the structure of this course. This course will be presented as a series of chapters. Each of these chapters covers the major areas of learning surrounding shell scripting. And within each chapter we will have several movies. Each movie will relate to one specific topic. As you're listening to these movies, you can pause them at any time to practice some of the concepts or techniques that I will be showing to you. If you need to hear something again, you can simply rewind the movie or close it and start it again. Now, because this is a programming course, it is vitally important that we provide some exercises and solutions for you in order to cement your knowledge of the techniques and skills that I show you. So at the end of every chapter, I will provide a few small exercises surrounding the topic material from that chapter. I'll outline what I hope for you to achieve with your solutions, and then at that point, I would hope that you would go off and actually attempt to come up with such solutions. Once you have either got yourself a working solution or feel that you are unable to, you can then start the next movie where I will show you a sample solution that I've come up with myself and I will explain all the relevant parts of it. I want to stress that my solution will just be one of the many solutions to the given problem and if mine is different to yours that doesn't mean that yours is wrong in any way. In fact it may well be that you've discovered a better way of doing it than I have. Now, I really encourage you to actually do these exercises. I know a lot of people just like to skip them. They want to get on with further learning. But I have many years as an educator behind me, and one thing that I've noticed is that, especially when it comes to programming, learning how something works by listening and then actually attempting to do it yourself are very, very different. I've had students sitting in classes in front of me, and I'll say, OK, and this is how such and such works. Does everybody understand? And everybody nods and says, yes, yes, they completely understand. So I set some exercises. The number of times that I come up to a guy and he says, no, I, I don't choose to do these exercises because I already know it and it's very simple. I understood everything that you said to me. I ask him to perhaps just do the exercise anyway, and you would be surprised how many people who've said that they fully understand a piece of material have tremendous difficulty in actually completing a programming exercise relating to it. Some of the bits involved can be quite fiddly. A missing semicolon or using double quotes instead of single quotes can considerably mess up a program. And you're not going to discover these idiosyncrasies until you actually sit down and actually type in, letter by letter, the script itself. Anyway, enough said. Let's move on. A bit of a word about these exercises. Rather than asking you to create a series of small and unrelated shell scripts throughout the duration of this course. I'm going to put most of the exercises into developing what I'm going to call a course project. This will be a single shell script that we develop through the duration of the course. It will get more and more complex as the course goes on. Every time I introduce to you a new feature, I will set some exercises about how that feature can be included into our course project. At the end of the course, the project will be actually be a reasonably complex and even reasonably useful program. Anyway, that's all ahead of us at the moment.